Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to check uh, the weekly general tarot reading for your star sign for the week 11th to 17th of uh, January 2021. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, uh, a link to my website from which very front page you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook, they are uh, separate, they are exclusive to one another. While in YouTube you can find um, your weekly general tarot readings. In Facebook you are going to find astrology posts performed by the Pisces Moonbeam, which is an exceptional astrologer that works with me. And as well you can catch me live and have your daily tarot readings. So with that being said, enjoy the show. Right, so we do have Sagittarius Sun, Moon and as well uh, Rising and uh, on our hands guys and just uh, give me a couple of seconds here to shuffle the cards and we're jumping, we are jumping uh, right into it. Right, so the first card for Sagittarius, that is going to be the uh, Queen of uh, Wands, followed by uh, the Prince of Wands. Uh, moving next, what we do have, that is going to be uh, the Devil card, followed by uh, the Ace of Wands, and the last one, that will be the Lovers. Wow, All right. So, um, my... All right, so uh, with the start of the week, we do have a person which does steps up for you uh, or it steps up into uh, your environment. That could be someone that you already know or it could be a brand new individual ju that just appears into your environment. So judging by the other cards, there is going to be quite of an interaction in between you and that Queen of Wands, which could be a male or it could be a female as well. And in general, you're going to find them very interesting and in the same time, rather scary to be involved with. Well, to be involved with. That is because they're going to, um, how can I say, take on to your world with a, a storm and in general you're going to feel that insatiable drive or pull towards them that you just want to, uh, to explore their ways, to explore them as a person, to get to know them better in fact as well. So the interaction in between you and the Queen of Wands in generally is going to make your uh, life, if I may say it that way, way more versatile than it is right now. Uh, <clears throat> so what kind of an individual that's, uh, that person is going to be, I cannot say for we don't have a previous card here. But in generally what they're going to see them as is a the stimulus, let's say it that way, the stimulus that you do need in order to uh, kind of like revitalize and to uh, feel excited and to feel not, not comfortable, but let's say um, enthusiastic was the word that I was searching for. A uh, moving forward, that is because the Queen of Wands individuals they know exactly how to stimulate, say, your passion, how to uh, how to giggle you in order to uh, in order to make you do things that under normal circumstances you wouldn't. And here, for what it seems, they are not going to be towards the uh, the negative end. All right, so with uh, with this. Uh, Queen of Wands, to say the least, you are going to have a really, really good time spent and a really, really, ha you're going to really, really have a fun in there. And uh, with the interaction of the Queen of Wands, we do have the Prince of Wands, which is uh, the uh, Knight of Wands in the original deck. And that is your state either after the interaction with the Queen of Wands, because that may not be somebody that is going to stay constantly around you or with that person. Afterwards, you're going to uh, Sagittarius start enjoying life more than 
beforehand and in general you're going to speed up the pace here uh, in a sense of that you're going to become quite enterprising and as well quite quite active in terms of career or in terms of a relationship as well trying to find the things that really works for you and try to find your way through in terms of dealing with with life in general now with the, the uh, knight of wands this is like a, a huge impulse right that uh, you are going to feel that you do have from the start towards the middle of the week to explore in generally to explore options available uh, that you do have at your disposal right these are not a options available that the universe is gonna yet to bring you these are an options available that you do already have for you to explore and um, whenever you do find the one option available that truly meets up the expectations of your passion and of your enthusiasm and of your drive in general uh, it seems that you're going to push into that direction say you do find a person that really matches your criteria in terms of relationship you're really going to push that into that direction uh, uh, to uh, how can i say to um, see the things the thing through it is because with the knights of wands whenever you do stop into something and you want to develop it with that energy uh, there is nothing in the world that is going to be in a condition at that given state to make you uh, abandon it. It is because you are going to be very, very interested by it. Now, if, if I have to speculate here, it seems that this is the interaction in between you and the Queen of Wands. I'm going to share my thoughts on the reading after I'm done with it. But to me, it seems that this interest is going to be even uh, more and more pronounced moving towards the middle of the week from the start where you just you know get to know that person now as you do see what contribution that person the queen of wands has to your life and to your career and to your romance as well you will want to be involved with that person even more and more here with the prince of wands or with the knight of wands and with this card you are finding the correct way or rather like um taking on the right approach how to be more engage, engaging with the queen of wands type of an individual towards the middle of the week and right there the devil happens okay so the devil was it as it's single standalone and especially with uh, this follow-up here it's a, a clear sign that whatever approach you have chose to take here with the knight of wands as you have explored your uh, options available it is the approach that is gonna make you feel awesome all right it's gonna make you feel uh, like uh, how can i say it um it's going to feel you it's going to make you feel like you can do literally anything right uh, with the devil card here towards towards the middle of the week it seems that you are going to have a few a full fuel full control and as well you get to to say all right you get to say into the situation whatever you say goes you have the control over the circumstances and you do have control over the events that is going to take place so what i am trying to say here it is that while at the start of the week the queen of wands was the leading force into this interaction this is not going to be the case anymore towards the middle of the week where you are going to overpower her or his presence and this time around you are to be the one who calls the shots here now with the devil card uh, like I always say, it's very, very important that you are accountable to your actions because eventually the bill for those actions is going to come about. And you don't want to abuse this, say, power that it is given to you to force the, uh, not to force, but to create the events that is going to make you move forward either if that's a business partnership or a uh, a formation of a relationship here uh, you don't ha you, you don't want to how can i say take advantage and necessary of a things to push your partner do stuff that under normal circumstances they would not they would never do because after that um, like i said you will have to pay for this 
in one way or uh, or another. But in the uh, in the midst of uh, this week, you're gonna feel phenomenal, and uh, you're gonna feel like you do have everything in the back, and that is going to be the case for you, Sagittarius. It is just don't do it in unnecessary, ruthless, and as well a uh, reckless way. For you know, people get intoxicated. Uh, with uh, the uh, with the power given to them to to do the things exactly the way they like them to do and the worst thing in those cases guys it is the self righteousness thinking that you know if you can't do it then you have the right to do it that's not always uh, that that's not always the case or at the end of the day purely the uh, the devil could speak that with this person that poses interest to you regardless if it is a uh, a business partnership. Or romantic endeavor uh, you are gonna have a really good sex with okay that is just the most generic interpretation of the devil you do want each other and finally you do have each other right towards uh, the middle of the week here and it's going to be a really uh, incinerating if I say if I may say it that way a passion that is gonna take place towards the mid of the week and right after that we do have the ace of wands and what seems to be a very very good and interesting unfoldment that you do have at the start of the week you have barely scratched the surface if it's it's going to turn out to be to uh, from the middle of the week towards the end of the week here as we do have the ace of wands and the ace of wands here points that the um gaining full opportunities or gaining full unfoldments that you are to have with this individual queen of wands or whatever that individual points you toward all right with the queen of wands are uh, there yet to uh to take place so if you thought that with the devil you have reached the limits of this interaction of this partnership or already this example depending on how the Queen of Wands is going to manifest for you. Uh, Ace of Wands is going to prove you wrong. In fact, you are going to realize that you could have not been wrong, more wrong than that because the good things are yet to happen, all right? You are yet to discover the full potential of this push, of this drive that you have been given at the start of the week. Now, the thing with the Ace of Wands is, is that you should not be uh, approaching or you should not approach the these uh, opportunities or these options available with any bias whatsoever because Ace of Wands usually gives you not not gives you but forces you to explore new heights right to explore new uh, new ways to explore new opportunities that you had nothing to do with beforehand so you are going to be as green as grass giving uh, being thrown into this uh, environment as it's um, as it is a minor arcana though you get to decide do you want to jump into it or not but with this card as i said it's gaining full things so i don't know why would somebody not want to try to uh, at very least see what what they are to deal with all right see what how can i say um see what this thing is all about. Now, Ace of Wands also touches on a, a little bit of a different subject here and it pretty much sits on the premise that you simply are going to realize that you are better or something or on, at something or better with somebody that you had no idea you could be beforehand, all right? So that being said, um, how can I say, uh, towards the end of the week, you may realize that you are a good writer or you're a good painter or you're a good singer or you're good at writing code, let's say, or you're feeling very good into somebody's company and you may want to explore that opportunity. So just because you can't do something that it is required to manifest this, um, this gaining for enterprise here, it doesn't mean that you cannot learn doing it, okay? And so you have to be thirsty for knowledge. You have to be thirsty for, uh, for learning a skill. You have to be thirsty into exploring uh, relationships at that particular given time towards the, uh, from the mid towards the end of the week. And at the end of the week, we do have the lover's card, okay? 
So depending on how the things are going to develop in between you and the Queen of Wands, that card could mean a few things. Uh, the first thing, it could mean that uh, you are going to uh, be amazed by the world that this Queen of Wands poses on you. And yet, in the same time, you are going to be afraid of it because this world is going to be nothing like yours. Okay, and at first glance, it going to it's going to seem that yes, you have a, a insatiable pull toward one another. You want to be together, but it will look like that you can't because say you are a calm guy and uh, you, you know you you like peace. You like to be a homey type of person. While this woman here that we do have, it's a. Uh, it's a very party heavy type of an individual that likes to be among crowds and so on and so forth. And it will seem that it is very incompatible, but just on the contrary here, the lover's card points that the two perfectly matching opposites, they need to collide. It's like the yin and yang, you know, two perfectly matching opposites form one whole. So if you are to, to uh, look for a uh, um, not perfect match, but how do you say it? It's not twin flame, it's not soulmate, but it is, it's, pretty, it's pretty much the true definition of somebody that, um, how can I say, makes you complete. Because makes you complete doesn't mean that um, somebody needs to amplify your traits, just on the contrary, somebody needs to add to your new traits to your traits. That is when somebody makes you complete. So whatever you are, that person isn't, and whatever that person is, you aren't, so you both are one whole, right? I hope that that makes sense. Now, that's one thing that the lover's card could point. The other thing that the lover's card could point towards the end of the week, it is that with the impression and with the example of which the Queen of Wands is gonna pose to you, you're gonna find a resolution to a many difficulties that you couldn't find resolution to, to beforehand, and that will make your life harmonious. And the last thing that this card could pose for you, Sagittarius, it's a choice making, uh, in the sense of that you have to decide in between what you want to, and what you have to. Now, in order this to happen, I don't know what kind of an interaction you need to have with this Queen of Wands type of an individual. Maybe she is gonna show you practices, she or he is gonna show you practices and a way of making your life that you are gonna like, but you are gonna feel that that's not exactly uh, a righteous, thing, righteous things to do or it's not a thing that you should do and so you have to decide are you going to take that example or not here. So that is a, a very milder way how this uh, lover's card could uh, develop. But whichever way the, the lover's card does develop, it speaks that the appearance of this individual here, Queen of Wands, is going to bring harmony into your life. The very least you are going to discover a new um, how can I say, new light, or rather like you're gonna see your life from a different light and you're gonna definitely like what you are seeing. So that being said, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, Sagittarius. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed it and you have liked it, guys, and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.